Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We had a Kraken Privateer Q&A going over a lot of the most asked questions about the ship and how its shops will work. The Kraken Privateer will be available to earn in-game, as will pretty much every other ship as well, so bear that in mind, it was incredibly expensive as a ship. How do the Kraken and Privateer variant differ? So the Privateer takes the main cargo bay and replaces it with eight customizable public shops and the dragonfly bays as well get taken out for two private customizable shops as well these private shops are shielded from scanning so it's hard to know what's in them without being on the inside of the ship um obviously the uh, other public shops are available to be scanned by law enforcement and that sort of stuff so I mean, if you want to keep anything secret and safe put it in your private shops it also has 10 additional habs for the npc crew that will tend to those shops the regular Kraken can only refuel, rearm, and resupply ships landed on its pads or in its hangars. These supplies come from the Kraken's own stock or cargo grid. So the standard Kraken could technically also sell services, but it doesn't have the means of safely charging customers like the Privateer does currently. Can the Privateer conversion kit be swapped on and off? The Kraken Privateer Conversion Kit fully changes the standard Kraken to the Privateer and can't freely swap back and forth, nor can you only apply some of the kit. So to convert between um, the standard Kraken and Privateer when in game, that will be possible, but you will need to go to a Kraken capable shipyard and then pay a significant fee and wait for the work to be completed. This is the same mechanic that they have in place for other capital tier ship upgrades and customization. It will be expensive to customize and change modules in capital ships, and you'll have to go to a very specific sort of like ship dock or ship manufacturer or ship location or shipyard. How does the privateer compare with the Banu Merchantman? So the Kraken privateer's major advantage is the landing pad array that allows it to function completely independently. The merchantman is approximately one third smaller than the privateer though, allowing it to get to uh, more places to land, but obviously bear in mind its cargo bay and the amount of shops it can have because of that. How will player owned shops work? So the high level approach is going to be you choose a shop type, whether that be weapons, clothing, components, whatever. Then you hire a shopkeeper for that. You purchase the stock for the shop. You set your profit margins and the prices. And then you go to places to sell to players and NPCs. So yes, it is envisioned that NPCs will visit your shops when you land or when you are just stationary in space. They may come and visit you based on where you are. These shops will operate in the same way as the Banu Merchantman's shops as well. How will people know that your shops are open on your ship though? So currently there isn't a specific mechanic to allow owners to advertise that their ship is open for business. However, there are plenty of ways of getting the word out, including in-game chat and spectrum. Plus the Kraken Privateer is not a subtle ship. So there should be plenty of passing trade if parked in high traffic locations. Obviously with the Banu Merchantman, you are able to get into more locations and you're able to basically park or um, land at zones to do your trading. Um, so that's the idea that you, you are in somewhere with a lot of foot flow. When owners log off, will the Kraken remain online? How will other people take advantage of purchasing, selling, renting when the owners aren't online? So the ship will follow the same rules as others remaining online. Those are currently, if players are nearby then it won't be removed is the idea and then it gets sort of like removed from play and despawns if various conditions are satisfied and there's no players there but i suspect you will most certainly be able to allow your ship to be online by not logging off properly or just by setting it that you want it to be online or something like that in the future they haven't fully fleshed out those sort of like mechanics and ideas behind ship despawning of large capital ships um, so we'll have to wait and see exactly what's going on with that. Will the shops repair, refueling and respawn service work if the Kraken stands on a landing platform on a planet? Yes, the Kraken and other services work independently of the location they are in. However, as hangars and landing locations have physical inventory, doing so won't create a way of infinitely resupplying ships. How big of a ship can fit in the internal hangar bays of the Kraken? The internal hangars are designed to take ships that fit on the extra small landing pads, so fighter sized ships. Basically, uh, the Buccaneer and Herald are the ships they give as examples. Will the Privateer have a medical bay and can one of those shops on the Privateer provide medical services like as a clinic? While not originally spec'd to have a med bay, they are considering adding a low tier facility when they start active production of the interior of the Privateer or the Kraken probably as well. I think a tier 3 one 
meant for at least the crew um, would probably be sensible on a ship of its size. Maybe not just the crew as well, maybe for customers in general, maybe not to use as a service, but to use as a, you know, you know, there's an emergency on the ship. There's a lot of people going through. There might be someone that's injured or needs medical treatment. Um, and that's sort of it. Are you a fan of the privateer or the merchantman? Are you thinking about picking one up in game? Are you a pirate and just see both of them as giant loot ticks? Does the thought of having player run shops excite you? Do you think we'll see player run shops um, as buildable outposts as well? I'm hoping that they do allow for you to more advertise the location of your shop. We'll have to see exactly what they do when it comes to um, sharing and locations and that sort of stuff. Can you broadcast your location sort of publicly on any maps and stuff they have in the future? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. We do have a ship giveaway each month for December. It's for a Carrack, the Mighty Explorer. You just have to comment on one of my videos during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. More details below. Also, if you're looking for a VPN or password manager, Nord have you covered. Shadow as well, they're an amazing way of having a gaming PC, sort of like super high spec, without the giant costs associated with that. You can have it as a subscription service and leverage the power of your internet to stream a gaming PC to, to you. Oh, bam. With any of those, use the code BoardGamer to get a discount or follow the links below.